It's day six. And we're gonna play in the dirt. <laughs> He's excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna plant flowers because, you know, there was a time when he bought me flowers. But now he knows that I want them planted. And uh, we, we didn't have any flower seeds, mm -hmm. so we're gonna do herbs in a little cup. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we have ready. Okay, so here's what we have gathered for our project today. Uh, the only thing I actually bought was the organic topsoil uh, because this I'm planning on using most of it for my vegetables and I needed it to be something I put in the ground, but I'm just gonna use some of this for this little project. These babies I got on clearance last year in my Dollar General clearance. I'll link it at the top if you didn't see that. They were like 10 cents each. It was like 90% off or something when it came down to it. So I grabbed three of them because they were really cute. And it was the same thing with this was like 10 cents. Each of these were like 10 cents, but I didn't buy them today. I've had them sitting in my house waiting for this spring. So all of that was just stuff that I had bought and purchased waiting for this time period. Okay, and then of course scissors, uh, Sharpie, and some duct tape. It happened to be pink, but that's what we have. And these I'm going to use for labels. I'm actually going to stick them in. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. And then of course my seeds. And we're gonna do some uh, herb seeds in this pot because I didn't have any um, flower seeds, but I think these will be really pretty on my kitchen uh, windowsill. So I have purslane basil, licorice basil, and bouquet dill. So of course all of this came from migardener.com and I have a link in the description box. He sells seeds for 99 cents that are organic. So, uh, and if you use my link, you get 10% off and you're not gonna find a better deal than that if you are looking for seeds. So make sure you check that out. But this is what we are going to use for our project. So let me go ahead and break this open so that we can get dirty. I know my husband's excited. Okay, I went ahead and made the little labels, so they're already ready, and uh, I'll show you how to make those at the end. But first, I have, I'm gonna just go ahead and give my husband this. Look at this, honey. Ah, oh, it is yours. You're gonna go play in the dirt. Are you excited? Right. Which one of these would you like? Which one of the three? Pick one. That one. Okay. Good choice. Okay, which one of the plants would you like to do? You got purslane, basil, or dill? Basil. Basil it is. Okay. It's licorice basil. Okay, here's the basil. There it is from MI Gardener. MIGardener.com. Okay, now the dirt is already open. Uh -huh. So all you need to do is scoop out some dirt. Okay, so we have the dirt in all three cups and Rick's gonna just sprinkle the seeds on top of them and then just stick this. This is gonna be basil. I think we'll do purslane in here. And uh, do, oh, you know what? You wanted to do basil in this one. So let's do that. I think you need a little more dirt. You can see somebody was scared of the dirt. Are you intimidated by the dirt, dear? Look at that face of intimidation. Shake. <laughs> oh no, you didn't have to put it all in there. I said sprinkle it like salt, like it a little bit. It sprinkles. Okay. How do you love planting herbs for your wife? Oh, I love it. Yeah, isn't it like the best thing you ever did for me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. You're like a chef, you're like bam. Okay, and the dill, the dill seeds are a little larger. Look at him, he's the son of a farmer. Sure. Really am. He really is. And the grandson. And the grandson, great grandson, great great grandson. So there's an expert here, oh my soul. <laughs> 
I don't know what the blowing on it does. <laughs> Bam. Is that some technical, <laughs> you know, thing? Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle a little dirt over top of all of those seeds. <clears throat> and then we'll just add a little water. And now he's gonna water them. Man, his can. That's right, you do a good job. Yeah. Look at that. You're a pro, man. He's got it under control. How's that? <laughs> you yeah. are sacrificial. Yeah. yeah. A picture Very of sacrificial. Broom. <laughs> now he's getting the broom and he's going to sweep it all up. Because there's a little bit of dirt on this. Yeah, we're going to save those seeds. We're going to put some of those seeds on the um, in the actual herb garden that we plan to plant. This is just going to be a cute little addition to my windowsill. So let me get this out of your way. We didn't even use the gloves. I bought them for him. Oh, man doesn't need gloves. That's what soap's for. <laughs> While he's sleeping, I'll just tell you that, um, like I said, there's going to be more planting going on, but I'm not going to, he's not going to do that with me. <laughs> And I figured while I was at it, I'd just show you this other stuff that we have. So I have these that I'm going to fill up for my vegetables, two of them. And that video about the with the things that I got at the dollar store, these were like 25 cents or something like that. Each of those. I got them on clearance last year. So um, that was really good bargain. So I've just been holding on to it for this year. And of course, more MI Gardener seeds, which with MI Gardener seeds, what I did was I purchased, it was like a 30 seed pack from last year and it was a grab bag so I did the grab bag and then I did um, the seed swap with Big Family Homestead so uh, I still haven't gotten those in the mail yet but uh, these are other seeds that I had that were um, just around so of course um, I was told lettuce that you have to direct so um, but other things we're going to be planting here in the cells and getting started yes I'm so excited and so these, all my seeds, I've just have them organized. And then um, this is my So True Seed Catalogs is the other, this is a local company. Um, they're out of Asheville. So I get seeds from them as well. And um, they've been a really good company. So I just have everything just all ready to go. Looking forward to planting vegetables. But that's gonna be just me and Brianna. He's showing his love by getting a little dirty and making something for the inside. And, uh, just being an encouragement to me and the things that I like, even though they aren't his favorite things necessarily, because you know, dirt, not his favorite thing. But you know, the last time I bought a bag of soil, he got tired of looking at it and dumped it in the woods. We had a, did not. We had a conversation about I did that. not. Well, yeah, I did. Yes, it you did. It was <laughs> It was my organic soil. It wasn't cheap. And he put it in the woods. But this one's not going, these are not going in the woods. I'm gonna show you how to make the little tags in case you know you're like me and you don't want to go out and buy little garden you know tags for what you planted. Let me show you how I made them. So simple. Okay, so the first thing I got was a Q-tip and I snipped the end off. And then here I have a little small strip of the tape. I took this and I put this right in the center and I joined the tape on either side. Okay, so it looks like. So I have this like this now, and then I just trim off the edge so that it's nice and even. It's not gonna be perfect, but I do try to make it as neat as possible, just because I don't want too much yuckiness sticking to it, okay? And then on the end here, I'm just gonna, this is just what I did, you don't have to do this. You could leave it like that. But I kind of um, clipped off a little triangle at the end and make it almost like a flag. There we go. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna write with permanent marker the name of what it is you're making. So I'll just write uh, kale. Cause I'll be making kale here in a few days. So that way this one won't go to waste. And there it is. So when I make the kale, I can just stick this in there. And so it's, I mean, it's not the fanciest thing, but I didn't have to buy anything and get 300 Q-tips for a dollar. And this is duct tape that we have just sitting around for different projects. Doesn't matter what color you use, obviously, but pink you'll easily see in the garden. So that's how we did that. So that's it. How did you like playing in the dirt? I'm fine with it. I enjoyed it and I don't mind being dirty. Oh, he's so rough and he's loving the outdoor stuff.
before you know it, I'll oh, check it. <laughs> all right, that's it. <laughs> you all have a good day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.